what up guys I hate my life so much right now not in a I'm gonna kill myself kind of way but just my life isn't the way I want it to go kind of way because I gotta spend the day at this place at the Santa Monica courthouse and no one goes ooh court day hell yeah what a fun awesome day everyone's always like oh it's either like jury duty or something like that. I don't have jury duty. I actually have a traffic violation that I need to fix, but it's from 2016. So I don't even really know what it's about. And I think the reason why I went to court is they've been trying to send me the citation the last like three or four years. The problem is I've moved like four places in the last three years. I used to live in Alhambra and I lived in downtown. And then I lived in um, that one other, I can't even think right now, another city. And then now the one that I live in right now, which is my forever home and i'm like I, I, if i were to meet the judge and they're like so what are you here for i'm like your honor i really don't know i just know today is gonna suck but what does make it better though is that i'm rocking that new <laughs> that new barbell brigade outerwear anorak you know the black camel you know what i'm saying <laughs> so at least i'll be looking fly when the judge goes dish, 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 guilty going to jail and i'm like oh man can i bring my anorak in jail at least I feel like this little snail right here, just hanging on a dear life, just trying to survive in this big old world. Uh. This is the biggest single use bathroom I've ever seen. Look at this. What in the world? You just got one toilet? Wait, am I in the woman's bathroom? I don't think so. It's a genderless bathroom. I don't know. There's that sign. I don't know, man. We live in a crazy world. I thought I was going to see a urinal. No urinal. <sighs> this court got me all mixed up. So they actually lied to me on the website. I requested a court date at 1. And since I don't want to be late, because you know, if you're coming all late, all sweaty, then the, uh, the, I've watched enough Judge Judy to know that the judge is like, what are you doing in the late? You don't care about your life. So I came here early, so it's 12, and then I saw on the sign that the court doesn't even open until 1.30. So I'm going to be chilling for a long time. Good thing I brought my mobile hotspot so I get some work done in this dungeon-ass place. Kind of smells good, though. <sighs> smells like dial soap. So I guess I'm supposed to meet in here. Oh, it looks so fun. 1.30 to 4.30. Proceedings may be recorded. Hey judge, be nice to me. Can I see in here? No one's in there right now. Such a fun time, everyone. Oh man, so that judge was actually really, really cool. He didn't even have to do this. But the first 10 minutes of the court hearing, he was just explaining to us the legal system in a very human way and connecting as people. And he goes, I don't like when people's cars are impounded, so you wanna do this. I don't like it when people, they come back and they don't understand the law, so you have to do this. And today, it's not a trial. We're just figuring out if we wanna plead guilty or not guilty so that we can actually arrange for a trial or if you wanna go to traffic school and all this. And then he says, I'm giving you all this advice. And he even added a joke in there. He's like, I'm giving you all this advice. You don't have to listen to me. Just like how my wife doesn't listen to me. And I started laughing and I'm like, oh, this guy's awesome. So it was really cool to and refreshing to hear like someone in the judicial system talk to people like humans and try to break down the legal jargon in a way where people understand. Because we usually don't speak like that, you know? So we don't, like you, you think that there's all these like crazy legal terms and you don't really know what's happening. And and you're just it gets you stressed out so for him to explain it like that it was super awesome so i found out i got written up for a ticket four years ago for driving 100 miles an hour and i crossed the double yellow line into the carpool lane and then i was driving by myself in the carpool lane all of this is allegedly so he was super cool because i was like so what happens if i plead guilty and he was like, well, I would suspend your license immediately. And I'm like, oh shit. And I was like, okay, what happens if I plead uh, not guilty and I arrange for a trial? Then he goes, well, then you can at least still drive. 
and you just have to go to a trial and then you have to fight the police officer that wrote you up. So I'm like, I'll plead not guilty so that I can still drive and I don't have a suspended license and all that. And so I have to come back again in a few months, but at least I get to have uh, my license and my car which I have to get around because I live in LA and like that's imperative so that's it that's my day at the courthouse as it's raining but I still got my Barba Brigade anorak on so I'm nice and dry underneath even though I'm sprinkling all up on my face and now I finally uh, get to go back home this is one of my favorite favorite views of all time when the little monster is knocked out the house is so peaceful with this little guy sleeping just resting nothing's being thrown no one's crying all the adults get to just hang out shout out to the llama <laughs> hey, hey, hey. We're playing. I know, just checking on the checking up on you guys. Scratch. Eat it. Eat it fast. Eat it fast. No, don't eat it for real. Yeah. Yeah, the orange peel is yucky. My turn. Crazy, the clouds look outside. Looks and that's like a beautiful. Storms coming. I feel like we're part of nature. I know. That's one of the cool part things. Of nature. This looks like we live a part of nature. It looks really cool. Like this is one of the reason I wanted to move out here to butt fuck nowhere. Come is on, this it. what? It. It's not a lock. Oh. Right oh. Wrong, I know what I'm doing. So I know. Why is this shovel out here? This thing poked me in the freaking calf. Yeah. Well, this is one of the reasons why we wanted to move out here in buttfuck nowhere, even though it's a bit further from all of our offices. But look at the beautiful clouds, man. Ooh, look at that. Sick. It's like that mist coming over the clouds. It looks epic. Looks crazy. Looks like it's going... Man, it looks like a storm's coming. For real. The one thing that does suck, though, is our pool was supposed to get filled this week. Um, but because, yeah, I know. It's like, the pool's gonna get filled. Cool, we're gonna have parties. But because it's all this rain, they can't plaster it. So we might have to wait till next week. And if... It, it stops raining next week and they plaster it. Then we have a pool. Then we have a pool party soon and everyone gets to come over and hang out. So I'm really excited, but I'm actually not like in a rush because we haven't had rain in California in a long time. So being able to experience like weather like this, to me, this is beautiful. Like to experience nature like this and like these dense clouds, I'm like, oh, so gorgeous. Cause we're gonna have all summer long to like swim and all that, you know? So just to be able to experience all kinds of different nature makes me feel so good. Makes me go, yes, that's why I moved all the way out here. Look, Papa, Tag is eating two, go. You got double dinner? Yeah, one. Ooh, sopita, and what is that? Food. Rice. Fried rice. 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 Go eat yummy, it, show Papa, yummy. eat your food. Watch, look, Papa, soup. Good job. And now the rice. Oh, you're ready for the Bellagio buffet. Woohoo! Yay, <laughs> crazy. Meanwhile, I'm back on the diet, trying to get lean now. Gonna try to get lean for summer and do well at the uh, uh, powerlifting meet, Barbara Brigade powerlifting meet in June. So I found this um, super lean 
beef. It's 96% lean. So I'm just gonna have a pound of meat in the fridge, ready to go whenever I need. So that way, if like I uh, either if I order food or if I make food at home and I still do just need protein, I'm gonna have a pound of it ready to go at any time. And I bought actually I think like three or four of these guys. So I'll probably just make one every other day. Some days you just don't clean. We got literally way too much shit everywhere. <laughs> just just random goggles. Tennis ball. I don't even know what that is. And then the whole freaking living room is a pigsty. But me and my brother got carried away looking at TikTok because we're like, should we get on TikTok? I don't even know what content we make is so we're just studying it. And I'm still just as lost as I was like 30 minutes ago. And we got carried away. We're like, oh shit, it's Tyka's bedtime. So putting him to sleep now. And we're like, nah, let's not clean. Let's wait until tomorrow. <laughs> Look like a little Jim Jabon baby. We gotta take him to a Jim Jabon. That'd be so cutie. Jim Jabon is a that's a karaoke. No, that's Norabon. Oh, you're right. I'm tired. You better get your Korean straight. You right. You right. See, I told you I was three percent Korean. Yeah, you are. <laughs> well, you're more percent Vietnamese. I know I am. I'm like six percent Vietnamese or something. I forgot. I'm twenty three of me just updated. But yeah, putting all these. Put this little foolio to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.